much do you want, Barry? What do you want? You you want the moon? Just say the word and I'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. I'll give you the moon, Barry. Hey, it's me. Um, look, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it this year. Um, things have been really crazy around here. So, um... But, but listen, I promise you, I promise, next year, I will make it up to you, okay? So just uh, call me back. They redid it. They reinvented it. It just came out recently. Like, that could be a, like, she's probably, I mean, when was she born? She probably had a Furby when she was younger. That could be a cute, like, little reminiscent thing, right? I think, I think that would be cute for, like, my five-year-old niece. Food. She likes food, right? You could, food. Hopefully. Burgers and wine. Burger King and wine. Huh? Like, I would, I would FedEx her a, a burger. Yeah. Like, I, yes, that's. How would it be fresh when it got to her? You could overnight it, and it could be there by tomorrow, and she could eat that for her lunch break. We don't think it would be rancid by the time it got to her? Rancid? Yeah. That's, like, a, that's a very strong word. I don't think that it would be rancid. That I don't want to kill her with, like, salmonella and food poisoning. No, 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 no. no. Food po No. Okay, just... No. Buy her a ring. Okay, nothing says, I'm sorry, I missed out on a year of your life. Like forever. But you know, let's let's just stick with with serious options only. Look, Nate, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I, I mean, my experience with this topic is a little non-existent. I just I just need something that lets her know that I'm thinking about her. That's it, because I'm I'm always thinking about her. Well, yeah, there you go. I mean, why don't you just tell her that instead of telling me that? I do, and and I have, but. Lately, her answering machine isn't as forgiving as it used to be. Yeah. Oh, man, I got a deadline. Yeah. You always have a deadline. Well, tis the season. That's what I need. I thought I'd lost you. I couldn't spend another day without you, kid. Especially Christmas.
GameCube, GameCube, no, she's not a teenage boy. Uh, Tiffany's, no, I'm not an oil baron. Books, she reads a lot because she's alone a lot. That, oh my god. YouTube. What? I can't buy it. That doesn't make sense. She's a girl. She likes girl things. Girls like, uh, uh, uh cooking, you not sexist. Why is this so hard? Why? Uh, so, what did you decide? Um, I didn't. Hmm, well, I guess you could always just put an IOU in her stocking. Look, it, it's not like I don't want to get her something. I do, but it's... It just feels like I don't even know what you would want anymore. I thought the greeting was Merry Christmas, not Unhappy Christmas. Yes, thank you so much for reminding me that I'm hitting a brick wall over here. Look, you could always send her a nice card. Did that for her birthday. <laughs> wait, wait, you missed her birthday? Wait, 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 what'd I say? It smells terrible. Oh god, yeah, it smells odd. Ah, oh, it still smells bad. I think I'm gonna go ahead and have it. Yeah. <clears throat>
what's that old phrase that um, home is where the heart oh, is? Well, in my experience, uh, home is a pretty easy thing to do. You can find a home just about anywhere. The heart, now that's something a lot more complicated. What do you mean? Well, uh, you get to choose where you live. You get to choose what you want to do or the kind of person you want to be. But uh, when it comes to matters of the heart, uh, you really don't have any choice. I mean, you think you do, but you don't. Mm. You know, for instance, uh, very rare that a person would fall in love by choice. You know, I, I actually came out here to be a writer, to tell stories. But lately I find that I'm completely unable to write my own. It's like there, there's no possible ending that could work. And on top of that, I can't even find a good gift. <laughs> there you go. There's your heart making a choice for you. How is that? <laughs> no, well... When I was your age, I had, I had aspirations as, as big as the Grand Prix, you know. <laughs> and as I inched up on them, every time I got closer, I would, I would find that there was some reminder of the things that I had left behind. You know. The heart makes our choices. And we choose whether or not to listen. Go. Oh, um, hey, have yourself, uh, you too, some. Great. Oh, hi, uh, uh, my name's Nate Stewart, and I need a one way ticket to Philadelphia. Yeah, that, that's fine. That's fine. Um, okay. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Actually, could you, could you hold for a sec? Hi. Yes, I'm, I'm sorry. Nancy, Nancy, was it? Yes. If I'm checking a, a bag... Okay, well... What do you want to see? Name it. No, Anything. No, we said you weren't doing gifts. So? <sighs> okay. But this is like extremely valuable. I want to never spend Christmas without you.